We're here with the Las Vegas Strip in the background on a windy day, Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas Massacre. What's Guy Millier, what's your perspective on the motive and the, uh, the concern about the motive of this attack which killed 58 victims and uh, wounded over 500 people? Uh, we don't know yet the motive. Uh, what we know is uh, that uh, the guy was not insane because he did plan what he did for a month. Uh, what we don't know is uh, the exact motive. But it's still there is still a possibility that uh, he radicalized. The sheriff, the Clark County Sheriff said it. There is still a possibility that what uh, the Islamic State is saying is true. Uh, we shall know much more within the next few days but what is sure is that it's not a question of gun control uh, because of the guns that this guy bought were bought legally and uh, you cannot stop completely someone who is determined to kill people and I could say that m most people thought that it was a Muslim attack, a radical Muslim attack, or a leftist attack, because Steve Kelly's uh, a member of the Congress was attacked by a radical uh, leftist, mm -hmm. and uh, so there was these two possibilities, and uh, this guy seems to have been filmed in a protest, uh, again, an anti-Trump protest, so it's still possible that it was a leftist, and that it was a Muslim a radical Muslim. So these possibilities still exist, uh, but I insist on this point, it's not a question of gun control, and I could say that even it, it was terrible. Uh, during that period I could see the best of the people of Las Vegas, and I could see the difference between the reaction of the Americans and uh, the Europeans. In Europe, when something like that happened, people cry, they bring teddy bears, and uh, they accept the situation uh, as it, if it was destiny. Uh, here, people are strong, they react, they help each other, uh, churches are full, synagogues are full, and it makes a huge difference. You could see the best of the American people during these last few days. Mm -hmm. uh, if the motive is, de is determined to be uh, Antifa, uh, anti-Trump, uh, uh, against country music fans, for example. Do you feel that the media will depict that and, uh, uh, and mark it as wrong? Uh, I think that the mainstream media have uh, an agenda and uh, that they think that uh, the fault is uh, the existence of guns in the hands of many people. Uh, they speak only about gun control, that's why I spoke about it. And uh, I think that if it's a leftist and if it has a connection with Antifa or something like that, they will do their best to hide it. Uh, because mainstream media uh, are on the left and uh, I think that uh, if it's a Muslim, if he was uh, radicalized, uh, as the Clark County Sheriff said it, uh, they will do their best to hide it too, uh, because they want uh, Muslims to come here, to come in the United States, and they don't want any kind of anti-Muslim backlash. Mm -hmm. Even if this attack were not Islamo-leftist or Islamo-Marxist, even if it weren't, the idea, the notion that it was expected, anticipated, what does that say about the, the defense posture of uh, Western society? Uh, it means that people know, uh, even if the media try to hide it, that almost every attack is made by radical Muslims and that uh, the other attacks are made uh, by leftists. And so you have no attack uh, for since Kansas City, you had no attack made by uh, someone uh, who is coming from the radical right. Uh, 
and you have never any kind of attack made by conservatives. So the media are anti-conservative, but the conservatives were the people who were shot. Uh, the conservatives go to listen to uh, country music and uh, they were the victims in such a case. The conservatives are on the side of the victims. But how is the defensive posture integrated into Western so societal thinking? Uh, I think that in, uh, in the United States, uh, the government, especially since Trump is president, uh, understand that uh, there is a huge problem with radical Islam and that we are at war with radical Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, people don't want to see it, so it makes a big difference. Uh, even after uh, the Marseille attack uh, in France, uh, the, almost the same day than the attack here, uh, you had people on the TV saying we are at war, but uh, they couldn't name the enemy. And uh, when you don't name the enemy, when you don't say with whom you are at war with, uh, you cannot win a war. If you want to win a war, if you say you, I'm at war and I want to win, you have to say the enemy is there uh -huh. and we have to fight the enemy. Uh -huh. But is the West at war with the jihad movement or is the jihad movement at war with the West? Uh, the jihad uh, movement is at war with the West and the West has to understand it and to counter attack and uh, to do what it can to win the war because when you have a war either you want to win or if you uh, or, or you, you you want the status quo but the status quo doesn't exist during a war so either you win or you lose uh, there is no other uh, possibility in a war. Uh -huh. but, but where is the battlefield of the war? Is it in Afghanistan exclusively? No, it's uh, everywhere on the planet. You can see that Europe is at war. You have a, a terrorist attack almost every week, uh, sometimes every day in Europe. So Europe is at war and uh, Europe behaves as if it was already defeated. And uh, I hope that uh, this kind of uh, state of mind will not come to the United States. The United States are at war too. And uh, under Obama, uh, you had a blindness in the government. You, I think you have no blindness anymore. And uh, I think that many people thought that it was coming from uh, an Islamist here. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, people uh, had no question in their mind. They thought immediately it's an Islamist. Mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, they are not sure, so they have many questions in their mind. Uh, but uh, it's not sure that it's not an Islamist. It's still possible. Uh -huh. Are the left partners with the Islamists in this cultural social war? Uh, yes, because uh, the, the, the left doesn't want to say that we are at war with jihad, uh, with radical Islam, and uh, when you don't name the enemy, uh, you uh, help the enemy, because you say, no, no, don't look on this direction, uh, because uh, the problem is not there. And uh, you can see that right now in the US, the main point of almost all the mainstream media on the Democrats is gun control. So they don't want to see that we are at war. They don't want to see that the violent people are almost exclusively uh, radical Muslims and leftists. They don't want to see it. They want to hide it. And uh, when you want to hide uh, the people who are violent with other people, you help the people who are violent with other people. But you're saying that the left are a party uh, to the conflict because they're uh, sympathetic uh, to, uh, uh, towards the jihadist cause. But do the left have their own war against the right? Uh, yes, I think so. I think that uh, the left wants to use radical Islam to destroy Western society because they think that uh, they can win in the end. And I think that uh, they are wrong. Uh, the left has an ideology and the radical Muslims have a religion and the religion is stronger. 
and uh, so I think that uh, the left is playing with fire and can be burnt in the end and uh, we all can be burnt in the end so the left is on the side of radical Islam uh, the main enemy is radical Islam